joined by your winner and another title defence for you. How are you feeling getting that sort of win, buddy? Feeling good, mate. Um, I think I've just gone out and proved it twice in a row now. How I'm the champion, emphatic style, two first round finishes, two rear naked chokes, and top of the world. And as well, you've been making a lot of statements this year. You had a brilliant run at the IMAS. Yeah. There was unfortunately cut short, but you looked as though you were going to win that as well and get the gold there. You've got two title defences already. It's shaping up to be a very good year for you. What, yeah. what is the left for you to do this year, do you think? We, we've got it all mapped out, but it's it's May, May 28th. I've had five fights this year. I've gone four and one. I've competed at the IMAFs. So I fought the best in the UK. So we've got the Four Nations tournament coming up with Emma. I'll fight the best from Scotland, Wales, Ireland for that. Then we'll go do the IMAFs. So last couple amateur tournaments, and then uh, we're going to go to the pro ranks. And as well, in terms of making that pro change, obviously throughout your amateur career, you've fought several fighters and you've had a lot of amateur fights. And some people, they still even now look at the record and don't realise that you are actually one of the best amateurs that there is at the moment. So do you think when you do make that pro change that it's going to be a very quick way to the sort of top where you want yeah, to be? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not here to rush anything. I'm only 21. I've had, this is my 19th amateur fight today. I'm sticking around for the rest of the year, so we're going to be looking close to 30 amateur fights. When I turn professional, I'm going to have so much more experience than everyone else, and that's going to shine through. I think the boxing style of being an amateur, getting fucking so good, then going pro, is what I want to replicate in MMA. Yeah, and as well, I know this fight you had a, a few issues getting matched. Not yeah. many people wanted to fight you, and then some obviously couldn't. So, in terms of knowing that you are now struggling to get opponents, does that sort of play on your mind a little bit, not knowing exactly if you're going to get a fight or not, or do you just take it as it comes? Yeah, I, I certainly think my time's fighting on shows like Almighty and the other regional shows are probably limited in terms of getting matched, but I know that there's eight people in the tournament that I'm fighting in the 1st of July weekend, so um, I'm sure I'll get some good fights there. Those people don't know if they're getting matched against me. It's, it's determined they're in that tournament, so I'll get my fights. And then IMAF, you don't go and pick your fights there. You get drawn against who you're drawn against. So I'm confident in those two tournaments. I'll get the right matchups and won't have to worry about finding opponents. And then finally, obviously, we already know when you're next back in there, but yeah. if you had to tell people what they can expect from you for the rest of this year, what does that look like? I think it's proving that I'm not only the number one amateur in the UK, but worldwide. We're going to win the world championships at the end of the year. Mic drop, turn pro. There you are. Well, that's everything from me. I appreciate your time and then congratulations on another title defence, my friend. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Problem.